Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's great to see you guys all here again. This is, of course, your regular dose, guys, of royal news and analysis. This one is going to be absolutely huge. So buckle up. And before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you guys for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, guys, of course, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button now. And don't forget to press the bell icon. Now let's get started. So let's have a look at this exclusive. Prince Andrew will be joined by his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson at the late Queen's loved cottage on the Balmoral estate. So Craig Gowan. The ongoing tensions between King Charles III and Prince Andrew over the Royal Lodge, well, let's just say, have reportedly escalated according to various insiders. However, in a surprising twist of events, the king has offered his younger brother exclusive access to the late Queen Elizabeth II's cherished cottage on the Balmoral Estate for a summer retreat. The development, reported by Express.co.uk, indicates both a growing rift within the royal family and an effort to maintain some semblance of unity. Sources close to the royal family have revealed that Prince Andrew, who has largely retreated from public life since the beginning of the year, is set to spend time at Craigowen Lodge, the Queen's favoured cottage on the Balmoral Estate. He will be accompanied by his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, during his stay. The trip is seen as a much-needed break for the Duke of York, who has been living in relative seclusion at the Royal Lodge in Windsor. Andrew has hardly left Royal Lodge since Christmas, so he's very much looking forward to getting away with the rest of the family at Balmoral, the source shared. The insider added that Beatrice and Eugene, Andrew's daughter, are certainly hopeful that the family time will help lift his spirits and encourage him to become more socially engaged. The situation at Royal Lodge has become increasingly fraught with King Charles allegedly issuing a new ultimatum to Prince Andrew regarding his continued residence at the 30-bedroomed mansion. The Sun on Sunday reported that the King has terminated the services of Andrew's 10-man private security team effective from October. This move is seen as a significant step in the ongoing dispute over the future of Royal Lodge. Now, Despite the pressure, Prince Andrew has steadfastly refused to leave the property, which is estimated to be worth £30 million. The Duke of York has reportedly struggled to maintain the vast estate, which requires extensive upkeep. Under the terms of the 75-year lease, he was granted in 2003 by the Crown Estate. According to the lease, Andrew is responsible of course for repairing, renewing, upholding, cleaning and keeping in repair the mansion. This includes everything from repainting the exterior walls every five years and fully refurbishing the interior every seven years. Tasks are both costly and of course very very time consuming guys. This summer Balmoral will once again host members of the royal family for their traditional gathering. However, Prince Harry and Meghan have been notably excluded from this year's guest list. According to sources, King Charles is intent on having a peaceful family reunion after a challenging year. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will not be joining the rest of our family as sources disclosed. The King is keen for it to be a happy family occasion, bringing everyone together to discuss future plans and to unwind. King Charles and Queen Camilla will stay at Burke Hall the private residence on the Balmoral Estate where they spent their honeymoon in 2005. Meanwhile, Prince William, Princess Kate and their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, will stay at Tamnagar, a cottage gifted to William by the late Queen Mother. Extended family members and guests will reside in the main castle, while senior royals will occupy the more private cottages scattered throughout the estate, the Balmoral Gathering is expected to serve not only as a retreat but also as a time for the royal family to discuss important matters concerning the future. With the ongoing tension between King Charles and Prince Andrew and the Sussex's absence from the event, this year's Balmoral Gathering could certainly mark a significant moment in the shaping of the royal family's future dynamics, guys, that is for sure. 
As the summer retreat unfolds, it remains to be seen how the rift between King Charles and Prince Andrew will evolve and what impact it may have on the broader royal family. For now, Balmoral offers a brief respite from the challenges and controversies that continue to surround the House of Windsor. What on earth do you think about this royal news and analysis, guys? This is incredible. We want to hear from you, so if you could, please leave us a comment uh, down below. It would be a massive, massive honor to read what you have to say and get back to you as soon as possible. The heart of the community is what drives this channel. And if you want more content like this steaming hot roll news, then do not worry at all, guys. Don't worry one bit. I'll be back soon with some more ow, scalding hot, piping hot epic royal tea. But, of course, before closing in, guys, you know the epic drill. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to help us pump up those big numbers and share the video to spread the word. Give the video a like, smash the like button, and also turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop some new royal news and analysis. It really helps us out here at the channel. So we really appreciate that, guys. Help us spread the word. And lastly, I just want to say a huge thank you for listening right until the end and for your enormous love and support. So, well, that brings us to the end of the video. So until next time, guys, we will, of course, see you very, very soon for some more in-depth royal news and analysis. Goodbye for now from me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.